T. Let's get going. G'day guys, Craig here from blog.tubers.com and today we are going to talk about what on earth is CCE or Cloud Connector Edition. But first, we just need to take a bit of a step back here. Cloud Connector Edition works with Cloud PBX. Now you may have already heard of Cloud PBX. That's the service offered by Microsoft Office 365 right now that enables you, if you're one of the lucky five countries, to make and receive uh, calls directly from the Microsoft Cloud. So that means that if you are in France, Puerto Rico, Spain, the US or the UK, right now you can purchase uh, a Cloud PBX license um, either that's a, an additional add-on to a Office 365 E-Class uh, license, or you can go and purchase yourself a E5 license for a user, assign a phone number to that user, and then that user will be able to start making and receiving phone calls directly from the cloud straight away. So if you're one of those lucky five countries, France, Puerto Rico, Spain, the US or UK, pause this video right now, go grab yourself a, a headset from your local, uh, local supplier, Come back, set yourself up with your PSTN services and you're good to go. Now this is fantastic news for people who are wanting to get rid of their old legacy phone system. Maybe perhaps um, you're too scared to touch the phone system that's currently in your office right now. I know many people who are. Um, they don't even know where the phone system is. Maybe they do know where it is, but they don't know um, who to call if that thing goes offline. I know some of you out there as well are actually referring to eBay to buy spare handsets and parts for your phone system. That's pretty scary. So this is fantastic news if you're in one of those five countries. You can literally move your entire PSTN services uh, to the cloud, your telephony to the cloud, and just forget about your on-prem phone system. Job's done. Everyone gets a headset. Everyone can start using Skype for Business Online straight away. How awesome is that? So you may be wondering, if you're not part of one of those, uh, not living in one of those five countries, is Cloud PPX uh, even worth you looking into? How does it apply to you? Can you use it? The answer, of course, is yes, you can. And that is where Cloud Connector Edition comes in. That's CCE, Cloud Connector Edition. So what is CCE? Well, Cloud Connector Edition is a set of four virtual machines that you download from the Microsoft Download Center. These four virtual machines must run on a Windows Hyper-V server. They're not supported on VMware or any other virtualized infrastructure. Once you download the image, um, you need to install Windows 2012 R2 uh, Enterprise Edition onto the Hyper-V host itself. Standard Edition is not currently supported. You then uh, kick off the installation, which creates four virtual machines. Now these four virtual machines are a cut down version of Skype for Business. We've got a domain controller, we've got a central management store, we've got an edge server, and we have the mediation server as well. These four virtual machines work together to connect your on-prem infrastructure with Office 365 Cloud PBX. That then enables you and your users which are homed in the cloud in Office 365 to make and receive phone calls. How do they do that? Well, here's our CCE environment over here in our four virtual machines. Again, we've got a domain controller, mediation, CMS, and Edge. So in this scenario, we need a way to get out to the public uh, telephone network. So in this example, we have a Sonus gateway that sits on-prem. Of course, other gateways are supported as well. You may have an audio codes, uh, etc., on prem. We configure a SIP trunk between the mediation server and the Sonus gateway, just as you would uh, in a typical Skype for Business environment. 
and then you configure your ISDN or SIP out to your carrier. Your users are always homed in Office 365. Your users do not live uh, within the this, this CCE infrastructure on-prem. They're homed in Office 365. All right, so let's talk about a typical CCE deployment. So we have our Office 365 users up here. Those users want to start making and receiving phone calls from the cloud, but they're not part of our five uh, lucky countries. So that means we're gonna to need to deploy Cloud Connector Edition. So here's our four virtual machines. We have domain controller, mediation, <coughs> edge, and CMS. So to allow the CCE environment to talk to the public telephone network, we're going to need a gateway. So this will be a, a Sinus or an audio codes, etc. Um, in this case, I'll just draw a Sinus. <coughs> Sinus will connect to your, IS, your existing ISDN services, or maybe a new SIP connection, should you wish. You'll then create a SIP trunk between the Sinus and the mediation server, just as you would in a typical Skype for Business environment. The CCE Edge server will talk directly with Office 365 via the internet. And remember that our users up here are homed in the cloud using Cloud PBX. So when a user starts an outbound call, that call leaves the cloud. The call hits your CCE environment, leaves the mediation server via the Sonus out to the public telephone network. And the reverse happens for inbound calls. Very, very simple setup to make sure that, uh, to enable your Cloud PBX users to make and receive calls. Let's talk about a slightly more complex scenario, but one that uh, you may typically run into when deploying CCE, and that's a staged migration, or a migration where the customer already has a legacy PBX on premise, um, they want to possibly move some of their users over to Cloud PBX, but not all. And that's definitely achievable with CCE. So again, here's our cloud users. They're gonna be using Cloud PBX. We're gonna deploy our CCE environment with our four virtual machines on premise or in the customer's data center again. PC. Mediation, Edge, and CMS. As I said before, this customer has a legacy PABX. Now, <coughs> what we want to do this time is we want to put the Sonus upstream of the PABX. Sonus or audio codes, of course. We then terminate our Sonus ISDN or uh, SIP connections. And then we'd simply create uh, SIP trunks between the Sonus and the legacy PABX, which means that users within the legacy PABX would still be able to make and receive calls just as they were before using existing ISDN or SIP services. We'd also create a SIP trunk between the Sonus and the CCE environment to the mediation server, just as you would in a typical Skype for Business uh, deployment. That then also means that users in Cloud PBX can make calls via the CCE environment, via the Sonus, out the SIP and ISDN connections on premise. It also means that users within Cloud PBX can call legacy PABX users and vice versa, legacy PABX users can call CCE users and out the ISDN uh, or SIP trunks as well. So in this scenario, you may be only migrating um, 10 out of 100 of your users up to the cloud to trial Cloud PBX. CCE enables you to do that. This is a fantastic way of piloting Cloud PBX without affecting or migrating all of your users on-prem. What this also means, of course, is as you progressively move more and more of your users to Cloud PBX and away from your legacy PABX, you can slowly decommission this to the point at which you can remove it from the equation, remove the SIP trunk, 
you've got your Cloud PBX using CCE, your Sonus Gateway, at your ISDN and SIP. You can remove your legacy PBX, remove it completely out of the equation. Everyone's starting to use Cloud PBX from that point onwards. Really, really easy and fantastic way of moving everyone to the cloud. So that's CCE or Cloud Connector Edition and how it works with Cloud PBX. One additional thing to note is PSTN conferencing. Now, PSTN conferencing is separate to Cloud PBX. It can be purchased as a separate license. And what PSTN conferencing allows a user to do is set up your traditional dial-in PSTN conferencing meetings. So when you assign a license to a user, um, that user's emailed their conferencing uh, telephone number and their conference ID as well. And then they can go ahead and they can set up their, um, their Skype for Business meetings. Um, within the Skype for Business meeting email will be a telephone number uh, along with the conference ID as well. So that enables external parties to dial in in a more sort of traditional way to these Skype for Business meetings. Um, as I said, that is separate to Cloud PBX, it's licensed separately. Um, and it is available globally right now. So that's whereas Cloud PBX uh, PSTN calling is not available globally unless you're using Cloud Connector Edition. Uh, your PSTN conferencing is enabled globally right now. So you can go ahead and you can freely purchase that um, regardless of wherever you are. Alrighty guys, hopefully that answered some of your CCE and Cloud PBX related questions. If of course you have any more, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching guys, until next time. Hmm, Cookie Monster.